But if you got 75 cents, a person can buy lunch, two slices of pizza, and a soda. Well, dribbling, bouncing, the same. That's one. difficult thing would probably be not being able to sleep a full night and being forced to move like five or six times within your sleeping period but uh for the most part like it it we make it hard we make it hard how do you make it hard uh there's the struggles of addiction there's um the the lack of communication and a lot of times the fact that nobody, like everybody out here calls themselves a family. They call them, they, they look at each other and say brother and sister, but at the same time, like if, you're, if your brother was sick and needed something like, like medicine, uh, like uh, food, you know, you wouldn't sit there and be like, make sure you pay me back for that later. Make sure you pay me back for making sure that you stayed alive. And I don't understand why people out here have, uh, think they have the right to call each other family and then turn around and not act like a family. I think that's that's the hardest thing out here on the streets. That's what's that's what makes it hard is the fact that nobody out here will uh, like vouch for their their moral. The fact that moral compasses are malfunctioning is the hardest part. Okay. And and how did you end up homeless? Um. Honestly, it was completely by choice. I, I have the choice to this day to go inside whenever I want. And I choose to be out here because this is just the life I've become accustomed to. I don't like to be inside, but I became homeless because I fell in love with a guy at a young age and ran away. And then after that, it just became downhill because of addiction and all that other um, events of a downward spiral, you know. I became homeless when my ex-wife brought some hobo in our house and I left. And then um and then I moved out here and uh as soon as I got here my wallet had gotten stolen, so it took four months to get it back. But I'm still trying to get a social security card because I gotta get a written statement from a something. But I got like finally got an ID though. Okay. So that's that's I'm just waiting on to get that. And he just need a written statement from an employer, which I should have that by tomorrow. It's been months. Well, so was it hard to get that identification? Yeah, man, I had to get mine from Indiana. It took four months. Okay. Yeah, it was it was really difficult, but eventually I got it. It's I don't think it. it it's just so expensive to get you know an apartment or whatever. But I don't think it would be as hard if I would have had my ID months ago. Okay. I don't think it would be that hard, but it is when you don't, when you're trying to pretty much just dead, you know, you don't have nothing. Yeah, it's, it's rough.
I've been on my own since I was 16. My mother didn't ask for much. Go to school, do your homework, come home, do your chores, go outside and play. You know, I've been around here for over 15 years and this went to the last three years, been like 20 people dying. Yeah, the disappearing homeless. People are just, yeah. uh, certain areas where they're hanging out, they're just, they're, you don't you, find them there anymore. They find anymore. them in a creek, find them on the curb, in a park. Go down the street, three people died in that park already throughout the, uh, over the last few years. And they were homeless, but I mean, death is a part of life, but the way you choose to live your life and how you die, it, it doesn't define you, but. First. No, I'll give you the dollar. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bounce it. I just bounce it like a few times, you know. Cool. So I'll give you a dollar now. Okay. How did you become homeless? Uh, homeless? Define homeless. I mean, without. Uh, shelter, right? Yeah, shelterless. Shelterless. Um, there's a lack of income. And how long ago did this occur? Uh, <laughs> uh, weeks. Uh, week. <laughs> weeks. I was working, but I lost that job. Um, it was a a, a warehouse job, <laughs> and um, just packaging and stuff like that. So that only lasted for like about. And you can't sleep. The cops yeah, wake you, can't you up sleep, they start every ten minutes. You every know? ten minutes, they come um, and wake you up. You, you, everything you have gets stolen when you close your eyes. You know, and what little bit you do have. Um, let's not even talk about, especially being a female, how many times you you get raped. Um, he beat me until. Um, he literally exposed my brain. They had to put my skull back together like a jigsaw puzzle. I had 37 staples and 117 stitches. Um, yeah, it's tough out here and so are the people. You gotta be tougher. After you got out of jail, how, how long has it been? It's two years. Okay. I've been on these streets for two years. It's two years. I'm on the list right now, but it's gonna take a while to get, to get, to get, to get, to get one. Okay. Uh, which time? Oh, I'm not sure. The first time, um, I was 11 years old, I was a runaway okay. from Oklahoma, and I ran away and came to Denver. I hit the bricks, I hit 16th Street Mall. Um, what was it, three, four days before my 12th birthday? Yep. Something like that. Um, this last time, I was doing really, really well, and um, my son was kidnapped, and I lost everything. And um, I'm still fighting to Okay. So if I can get find my son and try to go get me a hamburger or <laughs> Um, I ended up without a place to live because, well, as a juvenile, up until recently, I was constantly getting into trouble because of my drug addiction or just hanging out with the wrong crowds. I was doing things, stealing things from stores, all sorts of stuff to, you know, survive. I had to get clothes, I had to get food, and ever since I got out of foster care, everything's just been different my entire life. Okay. Oh, what's the shit about making money? So how long you been out? Um, about like five or six years now. Okay. I really think that the hardest part about being homeless in Denver is you have to worry about where, you, where you're going to lay your head, if you're going to be safe or not, um, what the next day holds. You never really know out here. It's a dangerous place, you know. It's a doggy dog world, to be honest. Cause it's not like any other, you know, place that's controlled by, you know, there's not staff on the streets telling people what to do. However, there are police, but the, I think it's the violence, the stealing, some of it has to do with addiction. People just get really, you know, they get really fussy. Everybody has their own issues, and you're out here when it starts to get colder, and everybody's fighting for money and places to sleep and everything else. And it just, hold on, hold on. It just makes it like a, it's like a disadvantage to like the people who 
have struggled out here so long to have things taken away from them. Something fell apart? But... Um, actually, I moved out of state and um, it, it kind of got rough on me because uh, just a, a case for my kids. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, custody battle. Okay, okay. Uh, child support, he gets welfare, stuff like that. So, yeah. so, so he ended up getting uh, custody? Yeah, just a, a prideful person. It's hard for me to ask for help. So we'll keep on the subject of homelessness. Okay. Yeah, you know, stuff like that. How long ago was that that you lost custody of your children? I prefer not to say. Is it hard being homeless? Actually, the people are nice. You know, I'm blessed. Look at me. I'm, I have clothes. I'm, I'm healthy. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. stuff like that. How'd you end up being homeless? Uh, well, I came from Virginia and I met my brother. I got a twin brother out here. And uh, just, uh, it's just too much out here. We couldn't get no jobs, no IDs or anything. We're felons. And, uh, the only thing really we could do is sell drugs and stuff, so I got caught selling drugs. I did 31 months. Okay. I got out, um, and the same thing. I didn't have nowhere to go, no money, so I started selling drugs again. I've done 11 years so far, buying drugs. Oh, buying, buying and selling drugs. Selling drugs. Okay. Um, I don't really do drugs, like, too much. You know, I deal with that, but I might do some clear to stay up to sell drugs and stuff like that. But no matter what, if you sell drugs all day, you still can't afford rent or anything around here. Right. Um, so selling drugs wasn't the most profitable no. idea? Okay. I got divorced after 30 years, raised two kids, put them through college, and uh, my bucket list was pretty empty. I've been on the streets for five years. My journey's done. Oh, cool. I can nice. just hang out, you know? <laughs> Congratulations, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of what I got. You can't go hungry here. And there's a lot of resources if you not know where to look for them, which I've helped a lot of people look for them and or find them, basically, I should say. Just because I've been around and stuff. It's, it's nice to have somebody help you once in a while, you know, especially when you're first on the streets or just first in town and so forth. Just trying to spend money and enjoy myself and stuff. Then I got in trouble, went to prison for five years. Actually, I've only been homeless since 2010. Okay. You know what I mean? So, but I started out homeless. I just ended up in prison. No, I don't know how to uh, bounce the ball to at one time. I'm... Well, it's possible. I've seen it done. You didn't say that the first time. You said dribble another ball. I'm going exactly with what you said. Dribble another ball, then you have another dollar. To spare, for example, take this ball. You did. It. I'm just. I'm through with this ball. I had my own place. Had a job. I suffered mental illness my whole life. And, you know, just uh, couldn't deal with it anymore. And became homeless. And. Uh, you know, decided to try something new. Came out here and been out here for about three years and have some homeless shelters working for me for possible housing and stuff like that. Okay, cool. You know, so that's all in the workings. And, you know, trying to survive each day. was all the struggle to, to get mine. I actually had to leave the state. I know, no, I, I barely got one before I left, but I was 20. So I couldn't even work until I was 20. And I, I tried to work out here because my grandma was here instead of, because there was no, like, no transportation where I was. And things didn't work out. My grandma needed me to go back. And so I went back but my mom was hard on drugs, and she went down kicking and screaming, trying to live in a place that was condemned with kids and food stamps, and so then I was homeless. I never got what I needed from my family, and now I've been attacked by the cops, and I have spinal column fractures, and the hospital's lying about them, so I can't get disability. 
and a half to work with spinal fractures, and it's just, it's really crazy. Right. Yeah. Just bounce it a few times. When I was uh, about maybe only a year or two old, I think I was kind of traumatized and abused. Uh, I have a sibling that has a narcissistic personality disorder. I have the schizophrenia from the abuse from her, but um, I always had trouble in school, concentration, concentrating. Is it hard being homeless? It is. It's real hard. Um, it's interesting because what I like absolutely have to have coffee. <laughs> right, right. I have to have yeah, coffee. you're drinking coffee right now. I go nutty bars. If I don't have coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Which is just interesting because it's like you would think I'd be like food, water, you know. I have a, I have this. I thought it out basically. It's just that I don't believe in panhandling. I'm not much of a panhandler. Or a, I don't hold a sign up because I feel like if you're doing that for a long time, you're like able. You're you could be getting employment. Second time. Second time you were homeless. Homeless was because a woman lied about me. I was getting too much attention from the men on the mall. She was a heroin addict. So she went to my mental health therapist and told her that I, at 54 years old, never fought anyone in my life, no record of drunkenness, drinking, drugs, and all I do is take my kid to children's hospital. She's got one. She told my therapist I was running up and down the mall, beating people up, man. So my therapist, who could have called me at home where I was vacuuming, had me thrown in mental health lockdown in a state facility for three and a half weeks when you're supposed to check someone locally for 72 hours. Okay, usually when some idiot therapist does this, within three hours they spit me out. The last time, my landlord wanted a blowjob and I said no. Is it hard being homeless? Yes, it is. And what, what makes it so hard? Uh, the people that work at the mission. See, here's the whole point. They get the grants, and then they put uh, former inmates or uh, other street people in charge of other street people, and that's not going to work. Think about it for just a minute. They was in that spot, they felt bad, and now they've been given a housing and stuff like that, and they care not for those that are in the position that they formerly were. And some of them I can understand because they've been there for 10, 15 years just diddling, doing nothing. However, there are some that need to be helped. And you have many places that are willing to help. However, there again, you get lost in the track. How long have you been sleeping outside? Like, what's what's your story? Ten years. Okay. Uh, my spot is over across the highway. Uh, ten years ago, what were you doing that that led to to? I had a sleeping outside. A condo up in Gun Barrel, right across from Celestial Seasonings in Hunter Creek. Pretty nice little pad. Six hundred and sixty-nine whole square feet, but it was mine or mine in the banks. You know the story. And uh, I lost my job thanks to riding a bicycle under the influence and then getting my door knocked on. They, I got an ankle monitor. That was the only slack the judge cut me because he was on a bike. So you're getting a year because that's what the law requires, but he gave me an ankle monitor. So needless to say, one night, knock, 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 you're blowing this, Mr. Hogan. Well, guess what? They yanked me right there. 
And that was the end of that. For, for violating the, the breathalyzer and, and the oh, ankle yeah, monitor. Oh, totally. You, you're not allowed to. Okay. You're not allowed to drink because you're uh, jail property with the ankle monitor. Okay. But anyway, that's what happened with the end of the condo because I had to go back and do eight months there while my condo was floating in the breeze. Oh, it was hot. It was not easy, but after a while, you, you look at some people that say, uh, are you homeless? And they said, you got nowhere to live. That's, it. That's the only homeless that I got. I don't got nowhere to go. I got family. I can go to family and all that. But everything else, I stay in the streets. How did you end up uh, hanging out outside Madison Square Garden? Oh, from I came from jail. And I came here. From where? From jail. Okay. And I came here. And when was that? Um, I think two, three, four months ago. Oh, four months ago. Is it hard being homeless in, in, uh, no, New, in New York City? It's, it's Hard, but you feel it. You feel it. When you want to talk about your family, your mother, your father, he dead, your aunts. But no, why the fuck I'm homeless? But that's the homeless. We don't call ourselves homeless. We just call unfortunate. And the ones that's homeless. We look at them because they know they did something wrong. So that's why we call them homeless. Okay. Is it hard to be homeless in New York City? Yeah. When you get you get so much different feedback from different people, you know, like me personally, I feel like I don't do as good as everybody else. Okay. Because of my skin color. Okay. I mean, not, not being racist or anything, but I mean, I, I sit out every day. I might make $20, $30. The other guys, they sit out, they make $80 to $100. Uh, so those could be like the, the younger people aren't even really homeless? Like those, you, You've seen those no, people it's, too. it's guys, a bunch of guys, and then it's, it's a bunch of them that be sleeping, you know, they they do dope and they oh uh, your left is and they they get a hundred dollar bills dropped in their clubs okay I promise shit I think they, they do shit backwards here. okay like cause they they cause they look like they're they're more troubled like unhealthy yeah me and my wife moved here from New York I mean from North Carolina when when I first came here we was living in Jersey, and in Jersey we started. We started out good. We had a job. We both had jobs, and we pulled these people off the street to live with us. They, they were supposed to help us pay rent. They started off. Everything was great. They were paying their part. We were paying ours, and then they they stopped coming home. Days like on payday, they would stop coming home. So we would have to try to take care of their part of the rent and our part. Right. So after a while, it got too overbearing where we was, we was so far behind, we couldn't take it anymore. Like So I ended up losing my apartment. And then in the middle of moving all our stuff out of the apartment and trying to get rid of it, I lost my job. Uh, you know where I used to work at? The Annex Antique Market, 25th Street. 5th and 6th Avenue, they call them the couple that rules the Iron Fist. Alan Boss and, Anna, and Helene Boss. 32 years working for them. Hello, my name is Bill. I recently lost my job. I'm just trying to feed my sons. Any food, any donations will gladly be appreciated. Can anyone please help me? I've been in prison. I mean, I've been out of I've been out of prison for over 10 years, so that's a good thing. Yeah. But, you know, um, it just, uh, your parents don't ask for much. So, some people choose to be homeless. They like being out here. I'm 38 years old. Is this is this as good as it's going to get? This is it for me? I got a four-year-old son. I got two other daughters. This is, you know, uh, but I can't blame anybody.